Hello, Stagey friends. Oh my god, hey. It's me, Erin James. And me, Mickey Joe Theatre. And we are here on my YouTube channel for the first time in... I feel like the last one was Elf. Oh. So like... So like... First time in 2024. Yeah. Happy New Year, Erin's YouTube channel. Welcome to 2024. Like, so far after I'm a completely different age now. You are. And you're about to be. I am. We're in the lovely month of the year where... Because we were both born in 1995. Yes. Uh, but Aaron's just had his birthday like a week and a bit ago. Yeah. Mine's in a few weeks. So for one month of the year, I'm a different age. Which we don't love. But I realised that I was doing a really bad job of actually creating anything for here. So we thought, why not try it again? And Mickey bought me a new camera for my birthday. It's the same one that I have in my recent vlogs. Yeah. Twinning. Yeah, twinning out. So I thought I'd give it a practice and take you with us on a vlog of our evening out to see Oklahoma in concert. Oklahoma. Da, 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 da. Oklahoma. I was so ready to start seeing. As you can see, I am wearing my Oklahoma t-shirt from the recent revival. I'm not because we were saying earlier, yours is like a cute little lyric. Yeah. Yours is... Uh, it's very artsy and kind of like... You only really know if you know that it's a theatre merch, which is my favourite type of merchandise. I've been seeing ducks and swans and geese better scare. It's not. It's it's chicks and ducks and geese yeah. better scare. Also, why does that sound like a threat? Questionable. Um, I'm not wearing mine because mine is the black and white OK with the exclamation mark that feels more familiar of that specific production. Yeah. Which this is not. This is traditional no. Oklahoma. This is very traditional. This is um, the anniversary of Oklahoma. Yeah. It's giving classic. It's giving trad wife. It's giving corn. It's giving ZZ Strannon, hopefully, giving us very different lorry vocals than anybody's had before. I'm excited. And That's my reason, main reason for wanting to go. It's the casting that is getting us to this yes. so soon after the Edinburgh Fringe. If we seem a bit frazzled, it's because we just recently got back from Edinburgh. And saw a lot of shows. 50, 60 different pieces of theatre. Yeah. And now we're going to see one of the first musicals to ever musical. Yeah. Um, it was the first time that dance had a role, so it's going to be interesting. Well, like, had a role narratively and structurally that told story and it from what i've seen it looks like zizi will be fully dancing out as so. you would assume so if you don't know in the original uh i mean in all productions of oklahoma until the national theater revival i believe yeah. laurie did not dance her own dream ballet there was a separate uh dancer within the company yeah. who would play laurie in the dream ballet but josephina gabrielle was the first laurie to dance her own Dream Ballet, and you would assume Zizi Strallon will do the same yeah. because she's Zizi Strallon and because she also she's does, a she does legit dance yeah. shows. She does she's done ballet. shows. Yeah. yeah. So we are very excited. We're going to take you for like where we go pre show, then the show experience. Mickey will do her review separately from this. On these videos, we kind of just like like to show you the experience of going to a theatre, any tips that we have about going to the different theatres in the West End, nice. what to expect, and just take you along with us. I might give a hint of my thoughts. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. So we've made it to Fu and we're looking at here's our menus and we're in the window seat. And this is really close to the theatre actually. It's like right by Common Garden Station. The theatre's around the corner and they're usually pretty quick. And I always find they're a bit filling and they also feel a bit healthy, so this is like a big recommend for me. What drink have you got, Mickey? I have a dragon fruit lemonade. Yeah. And my starts has arrived. And here it is, my chicken summer rolls, which are always fab, and I always get with a peanut sauce because anything peanuts is a big yes. Explain what summer rolls are. They're basically like rice paper, so a bit like a spring roll, but I think it's just a bit, a little bit healthier and a little bit more like fresh. They're fresh. also cold, right? Yeah, and they're cold. Uh, Mickey has his drink. And our mains have arrived. I went for the beef curry, which is like, I think a staple here. And it's really hearty and really filling. And then Mickey went for the rice bowl. It's a very happy boy. So post food, which was lovely. It was. It's really filling. I think that's one thing with the, if you plan to go there, plan to like, like have a filling meal. Yeah. It's, it's always filling. It might, you might be like, oh, it's not on it. It is. Um, but what's really nice is it's a really quick walk to the theatre and you get to pass the Royal Opera House en route. And don't be afraid to ask for your bill when they bring the mains over 
if you're eating before the theatre because we got there at like half past six yeah ahead of a 7 30 show which is normally um that's kind of quite fine for us yeah normally i'd say an hour and a half before a show in the West End is probably a good time for food. Yeah, but the second because... they've left your table with the mains, I feel like they care about you a little bit less because you have all your food and they're not in a rush to get you your bill. Yeah, Unless they want your table. It's handy as well for them and they know that you're not wanting anything else so that was all you wanted. It's yeah. just, it was kind of an easy thing and then it means you can leave early and they're not going to ask. I mean, there's a lot of good restaurants now like Wagamama's and others where you can pay via the QR code and not have to speak to anybody and be able to like be like food leave done anything that streamlines pre-theatre dinner <coughs> it's amazing especially in london um Ooh. the sign is up and we have made it in time for oklahoma at the theater royal jury lane if you can see here is the jury lane on that side it says frozen because that is what the main show is at the minute but then on this side it has oklahoma in concert let me zoom in and there's the sign with all four of the main performers on there. And here it is. Very excited. Love this theatre. Um, as a note, if you're ever going to see something at the Theatre Royal Jewelry Lane, add a lot of time in before the show because it's massive. The foyers in this theatre are humongous and you'll want to explore it all compared to Broadway. Like West End theatres do have a lot more for you to explore outside of just the show. And this is the gorgeous foyer where you walk in. Programs are normally best to get out here before you go in to be honest. Having you head through here and then head up to the theatre. Mickey, do you want to talk about the painting behind you? I would love to. Um, so this is of The Tempest and they're all inspired by different uh, Shakespearean plays uh, in honour of the fact that Shakespeare used to be produced at Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Hasn't for many decades but Andrew Lloyd Webber who owns the theatre with uh, LW Theatres, Sir Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um, he saw The Tempest here as a young child. It was the first thing I think he ever saw in this theatre. Um, and it's going to be coming back. He is bringing Shakespeare back to Theatre Royal Drury Lane uh, with a production of The Tempest by Jamie Lloyd in the new year. And this is our view of the theatre. I love the transformation. But normally this is frozen, but what they've done is they've co covered over the archway that's normally there for Frozen and then and then if you can see they have then used the screens to then turn it into a sunshine love it love it love it love it when they actually have fun staging and utilize what they have to kind of create a completely different production we've just noticed this and we've never seen this before but it's really cool because if you notice you can see loads of famous faces in here I think there's a sign at the bottom which explains it, but my guess is that this is all people that have performed at this theatre or have links to this theatre. But you can definitely see uh, Bill Kenroy and I believe Elaine Page there. But I'm not fully sure if this has always been here, because I've definitely never noticed it before. But can you pick out any famous faces? How gorgeous is this theatre though? One of my favourite things about here is just strolling around. I fully recommend taking time in the interval or before the show just to explore this theatre because you'll never know what you can see. The artwork up there even is about showboat. How pretty is this? There's Mickey staring out. I'm watching the bar stuff. You look down there. How cool is this? You're watching the bar stuff. It's like a ballet all of its own. <laughs> And you even have this gorgeous saloon bars.
it's the day after. Um, so I uh, didn't really get to film much after because we had to run and get our trains. But thank you for following us on our journey to see Oklahoma in concert at the Theatre Royal Jury Lane. I had a really fun time. It's been a while since I've seen a classic version of Oklahoma because obviously the revival happened twice in the UK and so I'd got very used to the more like contemporary approach where it's very dry and very subdued and rocky and edgy so it was nice to see the class it was nice actually and refreshing to go back and see the classical more legit style of doing the show standouts being Zizi Strallen's mix her placement of that is insane I think any role she does I'm like I'm so fascinated by how her voice will traverse up there because Mary Poppins the mix that she does and then again as Laurie I don't think I've ever heard a Laurie sing like that up there give her all the roles um Christina Bianco was hilarious and a, 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 a wonderful Ado at me um it was really cool to see Phil Denster do musical theatre he does have a really good voice he's very charming and great actor so I'm glad it's really nice to see that musical theatre is something that he's keen to do and Tosh did not know the, the bass and the legit vocals were there, so that was very cool. But yeah, those are just like a few little thoughts. But I've probably said it already, but advice with if you're seeing a show at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane is compared to many other West End theatres, I'd say buy yourself more time at that theatre. Just in general, if you're seeing Frozen or one of the Shakespeare plays or um, you're going to see Hercules. That theatre is the most impressive theatre to walk around and to explore. It feels like you're in a museum, but like stately home. Like, there is a lot to see if it's not just the theatre. Like, the bars are beautiful. Um, you can book afternoon teas in the theatre in the daytime. There is access to the theatre in the daytime for the bars and for afternoon teas and stuff. Um, we haven't done that yet, but I actually really want to try it to see what it's like going to the theatre or to lane not to see a show. It's one of the few theatres where, where I will actively say plan more time to be there before a show because I regret sometimes not having that time to like fully take in that theatre because we're obviously rushing between shows or rushing in. And as we said before with our pre-dining meals, there are tons of places around there and um, Common Garden is right next to it. So if you're planning a day, that theatre is beautiful for like you've if you're planning your theatre trip and you're wanting a day exploring Covent Garden and Seven Dials and all that area, um, Drury Lane is definitely a great one for that. Yeah, so with this channel, um, I'd stopped recording for a while because I think it was just really busy um, to keep on top of it and I didn't know what people wanted to see. So I'd love to know what you'd like to see because I never really want this to be a double of what Mickey does on his channel. Um, and I like the idea of giving tips and tricks and and showing you our lives in a way so would it be a week in the life vlogs or just weekly catch-up vlogs or would you prefer this where it's focused just on a show i will try my best to to create the content that you'd like to see but yeah thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe um it'd be great to have that support especially trying to start this again and to give me the confidence too because sometimes i start to and then struggle to carry on but that would be great and thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you soon Bye.